So that is the Seder Square. Um, there are many translations of it, or I should say, there's many theories of what it is, um, except the um, the earliest attestation to it is from Dury Europus, and we all know what Dury Europus is. Um, it was also found in the mid. Uh, 70s in a place of, uh, of known Christian worship in Corinium Dobnorum which was later Sinrincester and now Gloucestershire England uh, another one was from the mid 2nd century um, amongst all other Christian um, symbols and writings in Manchester and there was one in there I believe the earliest one that's datable is in Pompeii uh, but uh, that Vesuvius exploded in 79 they try people try to say oh but there weren't Christians in Pompeii in 79 there absolutely were and there was a sizable population there. And they even found um, Christian markings alongside the Seder Square in Pompeii. So, I mean, by 79 AD, if they're being slaughtered in Rome 20 years prior, yeah, it was there. And um, Seder Square, guess what it stretches out to? Paternoster with the Alpha and the Omega, which is our Father, the Lord's Prayer. Um, and then there's uh, a lot of translations. There was a Jewish um, journalist and amateur archaeologist which uh, attempted to translate it, and it has to do with um, God makes the uh, work causes the uh, salvation to work or, or, or God or the sower causing keeping the wheels of the universe intact causing salvation or something like that whatever um, I don't know I'd have to go check it out I couldn't find any source of it of his translation but it, yeah it's very much is Christian um, and uh just like the uh, the ichthus, the peacock, and the phoenix with the halo on its head, you couldn't go around and uh, display "I'm a Christian" everywhere, because uh, you'd be killed for the first three hundred years. So yeah, it's an ancient Christian symbol, and it, the ridiculous thing is, is that there's people like Six Hex and Hammer Six 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 that try to think it's like a magical, uh, you know, pagan thing, which is hilarious. Um, yeah, it's about as pagan as the chalk tea, or I, I mean, yeah, no, it's a ancient Christian um, symbol from or ancient Christian code from when. Uh, Christians got the death penalty. These two. Quick aside, sometimes it's done that way, but you'll notice that Seder is that way as well as that way. Tenant is a cross in the middle, a repo, opera, a repo, opera, rotas, rotas. Just to point out. And rearranged, it's our Father, our Father, and then Alpha and Omega, Alpha Omega. And it also appears in uh, the prayer of the Virgin in Bartos, and uh, that's an Eth Coptic Ethiopic writing that says that the uh, Sedo or Arepo Tenant Opera and Rhodus were the names of the five nails driven into Christ's feet. Um, so it's not some conjecture, modern conjecture, that it's uh, a Christian symbol.
it's actually uh, Ethiopia that's how they you know they were using these words to um, connecting them to the the cross of Christ but obviously it's much earlier uh, than that connection um, and uh, it's found it whenever it's found it's found amongst other um, Christian symbols so it very clearly is or I should say 95% of the time it's found amongst other Christian symbols from the same period peace to you